a few years ago my agent told me or encouraged me to sort of speed up the novel writing process and said that to keep up today for literary novelists you need to have a new book every two years. But for a literary novel, I mean that's so fast from beginning to end with the publication process and and, and especially writing a historical novel, you need to do so much research. So I sort of chose to not to take that advice on board and I really tried to forget about the market actually because I think if you start to become too aware of the market and the speed that things are moving at today, especially with the internet and publishing online, it, it just becomes crippling and I'm sure that it affects your writing in a negative way. I said, I mean, that you really need to produce the best possible book that you can and only focus on the writing itself and the development of the characters. Um, and I think if you can create that kind of bubble around you, um, the world goes quiet and calm, and that's the ideal state to produce the best possible book. I first started thinking about writing it, um, it's been about eight years ago, and I read an article about Leningrad and about the performance of the Leningrad Symphony. And I was just really captivated by the story of it, um, the, the determination and resilience of, of the Leningraders and also of the musicians that performed in that concert. But I started to read about Shostakovich and about uh, Russia and World War II and slowly, slowly the story started to take shape. Um, so I think the genesis for the novel was the actual performance in, in 1942. But interestingly, the way the novel came to write itself was almost that I wrote it backwards. I went back to 1941 and started with the character of Shostakovich and the character of the conductor and let them tell their own story, sometimes merging and sometimes separating. There's a kind of a rivalry between those two characters, um, which became very important in the book. And, was not necessarily so in real life. To me, the idea of one man being in the shadows as the conductor is um, Iliasburg. And then strangely, a, a terrible happening like the Siege of Leningrad, um, becoming his opportunity to step forward and I suppose finally fulfill his own artistic ambitions. Um, that really became the narrative arc of the story. So the actual performance of the concert um, never takes place in the book. It just the book ends just before the concert is about to take place, two days before. It was almost a simultaneous process. I was researching and then writing and then researching and then writing and that was quite laborious uh, but in the end, once I knew enough factually, I, I pulled right back again and started to think of it as an imaginary world. I moved to Berlin in 2000 and uh, living in the former East Berlin, that really made me think a lot about communist regimes and what effect a regime like that can have on writing and art. And that is a very important part of the novel. Um, the difficulty of staying true to oneself as an artist and balancing external demands, and I mean for Shostakovich specifically, it was just, I think it must have been absolutely draining and exhausting from, from day to day. Um, and I'm just amazed that he managed to produce so much quality work and, and reasonably fast as well. But somehow I, I feel as if there was a small part of him that stayed secret and stayed true to himself. And I hope that comes through in the novel. I, he seemed to have a kind of a stubbornness to him that I really admire, which I think saved him when he did take those public falls. I always do a number of dramas with any novel, but this, I think, probably the writing process, maybe three years. Um, Well, actually, Shostakovich is my favourite. Yeah. I, 
I think the struggles that he faced are the sort of struggles that most artists or writers or composers face, um, regardless of what time we're living in. Um, I, I think that I really identify with his struggle to find space and solitude to work um, and to sort of balance the demands of daily living with the demands of the artistic work. So, although I think he's actually probably not the most likable character, he's definitely the one that I feel the most strongly about.